all right you guys welcome back uh my name is meow meow mike and today we are continuing our adventure in the legend of zelda breath of the wild so last time we met hetsu this time we are trying to make it to ooh, look at, uh this time we're going to try to make it to uh kakariko village i think that's what it's called uh, i can't remember at the moment because i'm trying to solve this puzzle talk to you guys and uh be awesome all at the same time. I know it's hard. It's a burden. I try every single day. Anyways, we found another little Korok dude. I like how these little dudes got a little mask on them. Look at them. They're so cute. Uh, bye bye. All right, cool. So let's get on our horse, Dudley, the greatest of all horses, and let's adventure. Well, he's not the greatest, unfortunately, but he's special to me, and I love him, and I will always love him. All right, so there's a shrine nearby. Oh, we're already here. Nice. So another cool thing about this game is it has storytelling uh, in pretty much everything. So watch. I'm going to take out my bow. You see how there's bows, arrows shot at that eye? That means I should shoot at the eye too. And boom. Yahaha, ha You found me. I got a Korok seed. Nice. Bye-bye. And look at... No, my arrow. Come back, my arrow. So I wish I could get those arrows up there. I always try, but I always fail because I'm not good at this game. And I can't figure it out because I'm not that smart either. But anyways, let's keep going. Um, Kakariko Village. Yeah, we're here. Just calm down. Calm down. An old lady. Run her over. She's in my way. Ouch. Yo, old lady, you all right? Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Hmm? Let's see here. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. <laughs> Her name is Nana. <laughs> Say, Traveler, hmm, where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you'll see. Hmm. Yes, I see. That Sheikah Slate is a symbol. It must mean you are the hero of legend. Though there are few who know of such legends anymore. But we Sheikah have been waiting for a long, very long time. Please, before you, before all else, I must insist you meet our little Lady Impa. Where is she? Lady Impa's house is below the Lantern Falls, just over there. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. Heh. I suppose you used that, uh, you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. Well, Lady, I, I'll tell you what, I've, I may have been alive for a hundred years, but it wasn't, you know, awake. I was asleep mainly, so. Can you really call that living? No, no, so. Stay up, everybody. 24-7. Never go to sleep. Never sleep. No? Never. All right. So, we are finally here. And there's this lady here. New clothes. Cute outfits. I'll buy outfits right now, lady. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I need to talk to somebody important. Somebody important. Whoa. Huh? What? What? What do you guys want? You there. Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah Slate? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Hmm, I guess. Please, forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Thanks, guys. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. <laughs> I like how he just stops there and is like, yo, what up? <laughs> a man? Huh? Is that? It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? L L um... Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is pa 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 Oh, my name is Paya. 
Phew. I got it out. She's so cute. Ugh. I know I should be able to say that easily seeing as how it's my own name and all. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyways, my grandmother's been waiting for your return ever since I was little. P please hurry inside. Look at her, she's just embarrassed by me. Hey girl, how you doing? How you doing? So yeah, you know, you got yourself a man? Dance me, answer me. Look at me, look at me dance, look at me dance, watch me. This is my mating dance. Mm, mm, mm. Whatever, she don't like me anyways. I am here! Damn, like he just barges in. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time. I am much older now, but you I remember, think there's voice acting here. Don't you? I can't tell because my audio or my volume isn't up, but I'll I'll say her voice is I yeah. So there's voice acting before. Now there's not voice acting because there's a speech box. What is the matter? You are looking as you are looking at me as though I am stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember my name. Impa? Remember? Impa? I see. So you have lost your memories. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link. Please come a bit closer. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda finally wish, final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to the no, went, went to nobly meet her fate. Sorry, words are hard. I'm old. <clears throat> oh, I'm giving her an old man voice. I should give her an old lady voice. She entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting one hundred years to deliver the princess's messages. Oh. However, these words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well. If you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's messages, return to me. Okay, I guess I, uh, I guess I'll just leave then, whatever. I don't want to be a hero anyway, so just, nah, I'm just playing. I'm going to stay and uh, talk to her and see what she wants to do. Uh, the words the princess risked her life to impart to you. I cannot pass them on to you onto someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? I am. <laughs> ha! Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to, cha to charge forward with your only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the mm -hmm. history of... Again, these these pictures are not that flattering to look at. Over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries Ah, the so I have the soul of a hero and uh, Zelda has the blood of a goddess in her. She the ate the goddess. Each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen How? How does it fade into legend? There's literally a giant black freaking uh, shadow in, like, covering the castle. 
Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Mm -hmm. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. Ooh. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess well, of course, yeah. to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. Mm-hmm. I mean, if they knew he was going to return, I mean, whatever. Oh, I guess they technically were prepared because they decided to make these things. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The divine beasts were piloted by Four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. Ooh. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Shaka, shaka, shaka. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. So they went on an all-out assault against him. And sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow the princess used her sacred power to seal away calamity ganon hmm i see a hundred years ago. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we stove to follow the lead of our ancestors. Of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best effort and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making the grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Four divine beasts. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who the Ganon defeated. The divine beast Varadania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Varmedor. Controlled by Rivali of the Rito. The divine beast Varuta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the divine beast Varnaboris, controlled by Urbrosa of the Garudas. It would be extremely ill advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beast to help you. You must infiltrate the divine beast that was stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four the four races scattered across Hyrule. Man, a lot of story. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you meet with each leader there. Free divine beast. It seems to me that your Sheikah slate is not yet complete. The divine, the device Princess Zelda left you in your guide also is your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hatano Village might be able to help you. The location shining on the eastern edge of Hatano Village. The small village, one of the very few places that avoid suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. 
locked mementos. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. All right. So now we know what to do next, you guys. I'm going to end the video over there for now. I know it was a little bit longer than last time, but I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit backstory. Hey, girl, how you doing? What you doing? You came in rather good time. You know what I mean? How you doing, girl? How you doing? It's like, oh, look at that. She's good at cleaning, too. Like, pff, I suck at cleaning. But anyways, the point is, uh, I wonder if she can cook. It doesn't matter. I like to cook. I'll cook. Um, the point is, uh... We finished the story part. Now we're going to get back to the game part where we can just do what we want and enjoy what uh, what the game has to offer us. Let's see if we can get close as possible. Get closer. Look at me. Look at me. Um, so, yeah, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode uh, of Breath of the Wild. Of course, thank you so much if you made it all the way to the ending. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. As always, just stay bakery fresh. And I'll talk to you guys next time. All right. Bye.